Welcome back, this is Russell Yerma with FreeBlogFactory.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the style sheet and the overall appearance of your free self-branded WordPress blog from FreeBlogFactory.com and I just want to warn you before we get into this, this is a little bit technically complicated um, there is an easier way if you read the link in the description for uh, our technical support they can do this for you but if you're a do-it-yourself kind of guy like me or, or gal just uh, continue watching and I'll show you how to change the appearance of your, your self-branded WordPress blog from freeblogfactory.com. So the first thing you want to do is log in and from your dashboard on the left side click on themes under the appearance drop down. Look at which theme you have activated and the theme that we're using right now is called Streamline. So you might also have Agent Press, Mocha or possibly a Lifestyle selected. So look at which theme you have activated, and then the next thing you want to do is actually log into your cPanel, which is a little bit uh, complicated, but what you want to do is go to yourdomain.com slash cPanel, and then log in with the information that was given to you in your welcome email from HostGator. So I'm putting in my information right here. I have my username and the password. This is the same information that HostGator gave me when I signed up for an account, and then you want to log in. Now this is your cPanel, this is where you change administrative stuff on your hosting. This And for this exercise we just want to go to the file manager. So go ahead and click on the file manager button and try to ignore all that other crazy stuff because it can really drive you crazy. And make sure to choose web root as, you, as where you're going. So go on in there, it's going to pull it up and show you a list of where you uh, what you have on the server. And you want to click on the little folder for WP content over on the left. So you actually have to click this drop down for public HTML, go into WP content, then go into the themes folder, and then choose the theme that we're using. So once again, in this demo, we were using Streamline. So we want to open the Streamline folder, and then click on it, and it'll pull up here. Now, this file right here called style.css is what determines which or what the, the website actually looks like. So if you want to get rid of the style, the first thing you do is actually delete this. So delete your file called style.css. This is the first step. And now that that's gone, if you refresh the blog, you'll notice that it has no style. It went back to like a normal, like archaic looking website. Now we want to choose a new style. And every, every theme from freeblogfactory.com came with multiple style sheets. We were using the orange style, but we also have blue and teal. So the first thing you want to do is actually choose which style sheet you want to use. I want to use blue. So I'm going to click the checkbox next to blue and the first thing you want to do is click copy. So you copy it and as let me just read that make sure it's right slash blue. So we just have to do this slide. Alright now we have a file called blue. So you want to go ahead and click on that now. Click on the new file called blue. Click rename. Rename it to style.css to replace the file that determines what your website looks like. Now we have a new style.css file. Refresh the website and voila, my website is now blue, where earlier it was orange. So the first step is to take your style.css file and delete it. So I've deleted that, and now if you go back to the website and refresh it, you'll see that it's lost all of its style. It's gone back to an old, archaic-looking website with no colors or definition to the way it's supposed to look. So now we want to choose a new file that actually gives it a style. Now, with your free self-branded WordPress blog from freeblogfactory.com, you did get a few style sheet options for each theme, and with the Streamline theme, we have the options of blue, orange, or teal. So now that you've deleted the style.css, choose which one you want to replace it with. And for this example, I want to use blue. So you put a checkbox next to blue. Up top, you click the Copy button. And I want to copy it, except at the bottom, it just copies into the directory. You want to go ahead and put slash style.css. Click Copy Files. Just like that, go back, refresh the website. And now it's using the blue one to determine how your website looks like magic you have a brand new looking blog so those are the two simple steps just go into the file manager go into your theme folder delete the style.css file and then choose the one you want click copy and copy it to style.css for a brand new look on your blog now once again this is a little bit technically uh, difficult I understand if it's not something you want to do yourself all the time uh, personally I don't like doing this stuff all the time so if you'd like one of our tech people to do this for you just click the link in the description for our technical support and they'll take care of you. Uh, thanks for watching this and I'll see you on the next video.